Hey guys, it's Megan. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made some aesthetic decorations for my room. I've been wanting to redecorate my room for a while now. I kind of started last year, but then, you know, things happened and I forgot about it. So I thought that I'd get back on that and make over my room this summer. If you guys want to see that process and more DIYs, definitely let me know. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. The first project that I made was this painted jean pocket organizer. I've been seeing a ton of people painting on jean pockets lately, and it reminded me of these leftover pockets that I had from this organizer that I made for my craft room. For this project, you'll need a pocket from an old pair of jeans, a canvas, I got this one from Dollar Tree, but if you don't have a canvas, you can just use a scrap piece of cardboard or an old shoebox lid and potentially some extra denim if there isn't enough fabric around the pocket that you cut out to wrap around your canvas. The first step is to paint your pocket. You can obviously paint on anything that you'd like, but I decided to go with a loose interpretation of Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. I taped off around the pocket with some painter's tape, and then I painted on two layers of white acrylic paint. When that dried, I sketched out a general outline using a pencil, and I painted the pocket one section at a time, using a combination of my Arteza acrylic paint and Posca pens. I experimented a lot with this painting, and I found that the best way to do it was to fill in a section with paint, and then to go over it with the Posca pens to make it look like small paint strokes. Like I said before, I wasn't going for an exact copy of the original, just enough so that you could look at it and tell what it's supposed to be. When everything dried, I removed the tape and cut out around the pocket. Again, this isn't necessary if there's enough fabric around your pocket to cover your canvas. Then I took some denim from a pair of my dad's old jeans and wrapped it around the canvas, using hot glue to secure the edges. I used fabric glue to attach the pocket to the center of the canvas. If you're cutting out the pocket and reattaching it, I would highly recommend fabric glue especially if you plan to put in anything like semi-heavy or large in the pocket. When the fabric glue dries, you're ready to hang your pocket on the wall. I used heavy-duty command strips for this, since I find that the regular ones kind of have a hard time sticking to the fabric. So here's how the finished pocket turned out. I think that this would look really cool if maybe you got a larger canvas and attached multiple painted pockets. There are lots of things that you could use this for, I think that I'm going to use mine to store my glasses while I'm sleeping, or I might use it to hold my TV remote. You could also use this to store your phone while it's charging if you put it near an outlet. Speaking of hidden storage, the next project that I made is this storage frame from an old VHS tape case. I've seen a ton of people painting on records, and a lot of aesthetic posts focus on using older media like records, VHS tapes, cassette tapes, and stuff like that. For this project, you'll need an old VHS tape case, felt, and a hot glue gun. First, take a piece of your felt and measure it so that it fits inside of your VHS case. You can make a pattern with paper first, but I was honestly just too lazy to do that, so I just eyeballed it. Basically, just cut a piece of felt that is small enough that it can fit inside the case and will allow it to close. Next, you'll want to make the side panels. Place your VHS cover on top of a piece of paper and open it as far as you want your compartment to open. Trace around the sides and connect it at the top with a ruler. Measure the piece of felt that you just cut on top of it and adjust your pattern if necessary. Add tabs that are 1 4th inch to 1 half inch on the two diagonal sides and on the shortest side. When you cut it out, your pattern piece should look like this. Cut out two pieces of felt using this pattern. So now you should have the two triangle pieces and a rectangle piece. Take your rectangle piece and mark where the middle is with a pin. Starting at the middle of the long side of the rectangle, glue down the smallest side of the triangle. Then glue down the sides of the triangle. Repeat this on the other side. Hopefully that makes sense, but I think that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing in the video. Now, you should have a felt pouch that looks like this. When you're done, make sure your felt piece fits inside of your case. If it does, use your hot glue gun to glue the felt pouch inside of the case. 
I added some extra glue on the inside edges of the sides so that the felt would fold in and it wouldn't get caught in the sides when you close it. Now that we have the storage part done, we can make the art to go in our VHS frame. You can make anything that you'd like to go in your frame, just use the paper that comes in the case to measure out what size you'll need your paper to be. I decided to trace around a Polaroid three times and I drew these tired Powerpuff Girls that I've seen a lot of people use as their profile picture. Since this is going to be beside my bed, I thought that it was appropriate. I taped off each rectangle and I painted each drawing with my Arteza acrylic paint. I've been doing a ton of painting recently and I honestly don't know why because I'm not really that good at it, but practicing has made it a little bit easier. Having Posca pens has really helped me with the small details as well. I painted the background with some light purple acrylic paint and went over the edges of my Polaroid drawings with a purple Posca pen. When everything dried, I traced around the cover paper a second time since I painted over the lines that I drew earlier and I cut the page out. I slipped the painting into the front of my VHS cover and it was ready to hang on the wall. I attached it to the wall using some regular command strips. You could screw it into the wall if like you really wanted to, but in my opinion, command strips are usually the way to go. As with anything using command strips, make sure to press it really firmly against the wall so that they stick. I made this with the intention of sticking my TV remote in it, but you could use this for a lot of other things as well. I've been making friendship bracelets at night before I go to bed, and this would be a great place to keep some thread and a small pair of scissors. Let me know what you'd keep in a frame like this. The last project that I made was this moon phase garland. To make this, you'll need cardboard, a circular object to trace, scissors, something to write with, string, a hot glue gun, black and white acrylic paint, and glow in the dark acrylic paint, which is optional. Start by tracing your circular object onto a piece of cardboard. You'll want to have seven circles altogether. Cut them out and set aside three of the circles. Take your lid and place it on top of the circle you cut out. Trace around it and cut out the section you traced. Repeat this on two more of your circles, getting closer to the left each time so that the moons get smaller. When you have three moons cut out, Take three more of your cardboard circles and trace the moons that you just cut out. When you're done, you should have six crescent moons and one full moon. I also printed out two stars onto a piece of cardstock to make stars, but this is optional. The first step is also optional, but it makes the edges look a lot nicer. You can use a hot glue gun to fill in any gaps in the sides of your cardboard pieces and smooth everything out using the tip of your hot glue gun. Ignore the fact that this is painted, I just forgot to do it before I started painting. Next, put a layer of gesso on both sides of each moon. This is again optional, but it will help you to use less paint. I'm using my homemade gesso that I made in my last art hacks video. Then, paint both sides of each moon with a layer of black acrylic paint. When that dries, put some of the black and white paint onto a piece of cardboard. Take your moons and dip them into the paint to create a sort of marble effect. Do this for every single moon and the stars if you decide to add them. The next part is optional, but I decided to paint on a thin layer of glow-in-the-dark paint so that the moons would glow in the dark. The paint that I used was transparent, so it didn't really change the look of the moons. When everything is dry, measure out a piece of string as long as you want your garland to be. Fold the string in half to find the middle and use hot glue to attach the full moon. If you made stars, glue those onto both ends of your string. Then take three of your crescent moons and spread them out evenly between the full moon and the star. I started with the left side, so I made sure that all of my moons were facing the left. Flip everything over and use your hot glue gun to attach the moons. Repeat this process on the right side this time making sure that the open part of the moon faces the right. When the hot glue dries, you can hang your garland on the wall. I used more command strips for this because it's what I had, but this is light enough that you could probably use blue tack if you had that at home. I put a command strip on the middle and two outer moons. Originally, I was going to make the stars at the end, 
but I made my garland a little bit too long, so I just let them hang at the ends. I messed around with it a lot, and it's definitely not perfect, but I really like it. If you don't feel like painting the moons, you could leave them plain to make it look like this garland from Urban Outfitters. I also think that this would look really nice if you painted it with gold or silver paint. So those are all of the DIYs that I made in this video. Let me know which one was your favorite. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you want to see more DIY room decor. I think that this would be a really fun summer project to do. Maybe I could like make enough room decor to fill a whole wall in my room or something. Here are today's shoutouts. If you want a shout out in my next video, leave me a comment on my art hacks video that I just posted, letting me know what you think I should make to decorate my room, or any other DIYs that you'd like to see on my channel. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and as always, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is at WellerMegs. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!